Introduction of NF Kappa B Signal Pathway. Produced by Creative Biomart. I will introduce the signal pathway from several aspects, including background, NF Kappa B protein family, upstream signaling, I Kappa B kinase, I Kappa B protein family, NF Kappa B signaling, and regulation of NF Kappa B transcription activity. First, Background of NF-kappa B signal pathway. The most basic components of NF-kappa B signaling pathways include receptors, signal adapter proteins, I-kappa B kinase complex, I-kappa B protein, and NF-kappa B dimer. When cells are subjected to various intracellular and extracellular stimuli, IKK is activated resulting in phosphorylation and ubiquitination of I-kappa B protein, and then I-kappa B protein is degraded and NF-kappa B dimer is released. The NF-kappa B dimer is further activated by various post-translational modifications, and is transferred to the nucleus. In the nucleus, it binds to the target gene and promotes the transcription of the target gene. Secondly, NF-kappa B protein family. The NF-kappa B protein family consists of five members, protein 50, protein 52, protein 65, serol, and rol B. They are encoded by the NF-kb1, NF-kb2, rol A, rol, and rol B genes respectively. Structurally, they all have an N-terminal rol homology domain, responsible for their binding to DNA and dimerization. In addition, Protein 65, C. Rolindrol B have a transcriptional activation region that positively regulates gene expression. Protein 50 and protein 52 do not have transcriptional activation regions, and their homodimers can inhibit transcription. In general, NF kappa B exists in the form of a dimer, and its dimer has two modes of existence including the binding of NF-kappa B dimer to I-kappa B protein, and the binding of NF-kappa B dimer to DNA. The amino terminus of the NF-kappa B dimer is an immunoglobulin-like region, that has selectivity for a certain form of kappa B site. The C-terminal hydrophobic region provides a link between the various subunits of NF-kappa B. The figure represents the structures of NF-kappa B. Figure is a space-filling model of the crystal structure of the protein 50 and protein 65 heterocomplex bound to DNA. Figure B is the same structure, shown in ribbon diagrams in two orientations. Many extracellular stimuli can cause activation of NF-kappa B signaling pathways, such as pro-inflammatory cytokines, TNF-alpha, interleukin, IL-1, bacterial apopolysaccharide, T-cell and B-cell mitogens, viral double-stranded RNA, and various physical and chemical pressures. Although the intracellular early signal pathways produced by these extracellular stimuli vary, it is generally believed that, the signaling response initiated by most of these extracellular stimuli, will eventually activate the IKK complex. In NF-kappa B signaling pathways, Many signaling intermediates are common, especially upstream signals of the IKK complex. Different signaling pathways can utilize some common signaling elements to activate and inhibit pathways. Upstream signal adapter proteins of the IKK complex include TNF receptor associated factors, TRAFs, and receptor interacting proteins, RIPS. The kinases of the IKK complex include TGF beta activating kinase 1, DAK1, and NF kappa B inducing kinase, NIK in the non canonical signal pathway of NF kappa B. TRAF and NIK can fully activate IKK alpha without NEMO. In the NF kappa B canonical signaling pathway, TRAF, RIP, and DAK1 are all required. The IKK complex comprises three subunits, IKK alpha, IKK beta, and the regulatory subunit IKK gamma. Among specific NF kappa B signaling pathways, IKK alpha and IKK beta are selectively required. 
IKK alpha and IKK beta have high sequence homology and similar structures. At the end terminus, there is a protein kinase region, a leucine zipper region and a helix loop helix near the middle region. Nemo includes a large section of coiled coli and a leucine zipper region near the C terminus. The figure represents the structures of the IKK complex. Figure A is the domain organizations. Figure B is the crystal structure of IKK beta dimer. Figure C is the crystal structure of IKK beta and BD, in complex with the N terminal kinase binding domain of NEMO. IKK alpha is not required in the canonical NF kappa B signaling pathway. It is required in the NF kappa B activation transduction pathway. Induced by receptor activator of NF kappa B, and the NF kappa B activation alteration pathway. IKK beta deficient cells do not induce NF kappa B activation, in response to TNF alpha and IL1 stimulation. NEMO is required in the canonical NF kappa B signaling pathway. NEMO may mediate the assembly of IKK complexes, through direct interactions with IKK beta and IKK alpha and also facilitate the interaction of I-kappa B proteins with IKK kinase complexes. The I-kappa B protein family includes seven members, I-kappa B alpha, I-kappa B beta, I-kappa B zeta, I-kappa B epsilon, BCL3, protein 100, and protein 105. The I-kappa B protein structure has an Ankaran repeat region, namely, a plurality of closely linked hook repeats, each containing 33 amino acids. The main role of I-kappa B protein, is to mask the nuclear localization signal of NF-kappa B, prevent its entry into the nucleus and its binding to DNA, and make NF-kappa B exist in the cytoplasm of cells in an inactive form. Next, NF-kappa B signaling. Firstly, Canonical NF kappa B signaling. Protein 65 and protein 50 dimer activation through the canonical pathway, such as those transduced through TNFR1, involve signal responsive activation of IKK. In response to a variety of inflammatory stimuli, the IKK complex phosphorylates I kappa B at specific N terminal serine residues. Subsequent ubiquitination of canonical I kappa B promotes complete pertisomal degradation of the inhibitors to liberate bound NF kappa B dimers. Interestingly, neither phosphorylation nor ubiquitination is sufficient to dissociate I kappa B from the protein 65 and protein 50 dimer, and pertisomal degradation of I kappa B is absolutely required for protein 65 and protein 50 nuclear translocation. This mode of NF-kappa B activation in the canonical pathway is protein synthesis independent. Secondly, non-canonical NF-kappa B signaling. LT-beta-R stimulation was shown to induce nuclear accumulation of ROL-B and protein 52 via the NIK and IKK1 pathway and the phosphorylation and processing of de novo synthesized rather than pre-existing protein 100 protein. Indeed, a first phase of protein 65 activity was proposed to induce protein 100 synthesis to amplify all B and protein 52 dimer activation, but recent evidence indicates that protein 65 responsive expression of all B is more important in this regard. Signaling through multiple other TNF receptor superfamily members, such as Baffer, CD40R, BCMA, TRC1 or rank, was also reported to activate the B and protein 52 dimer, via the non-canonical pathway. In non-stimulated cells, the kappa B site of the gene of interest, is occupied by homodimers of protein 50 or protein 52. At this stage, BCL3 and I kappa B can positively and negatively regulate the NF kappa B signaling pathway by removing and stabilizing protein 50 or protein 52 homodimers. When the cells are stimulated, along with the signal transduction, after degrading the I kappa B protein, protein 65 can be phosphorylated in the cytoplasm 
by IKKL4 PKA, and can also be phosphorylated in the nucleus by MSK1 or 2 or RSK1. Phosphorylated protein 65 is more likely to bind to CBP and P300, thereby acetylating histones and protein 65, and promoting the expression of the target gene. Under the action of IKK alpha, the coactivator CBP and P300 was phosphorylated, and thus exchanged with the co-rejector HDRCS, and the phosphorylated coactivator CBP and P300 was bound to the NF kappa B dimer. IKK alpha and MSK1 can also directly phosphorylate histones to promote transcription. When NF kappa B binds to the target gene, I kappa B alpha and I kappa B epsilon can reverse the regulation of NF kappa B signaling pathway by separating NF kappa B from the target gene. If you want more information or you have any questions about signal pathways and other biological knowledges, please contact us via email. You can also log in our website. You can find me at www.creativebiomart.net for more information. Thank you for your attention.